ready you're we're taping it with some packing tape and so this is the size of the box let me see this is the size of the box we got a large box and for size we're using Nebraska he has this little halter that my dad made me too and I made the lead rope and so yeah he's gonna be the size and this is his new barn in the making it's pretty small compared to it though size comparison but it's a whole barn, so I think it'll be fine. Okay, so I think we're at this part now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a hole out of the box with an X-Acto knife. And younger crafters, please have an adult for this. Because I don't want you getting hurt or anything. We're also gonna use a hot glue gun, so you might just want an adult with this whole thing. We're gonna cut a hole and make sure not to cut right at the edge or else all your flaps will fall off. So we're gonna cut a little bearing and at the bottom we're gonna cut it bigger because over here, one second, we have our bag of shavings. So we're gonna put the shavings in there and we don't want them to fall all over the place. Hey, no. No. Hi. So we have it cut inside and oh, we're going to tape the inside in there because it looks a little bit wonky. But this is what I want it to look like. There it goes and you can stick your hand in and play. So yeah, um, that's what it looks like so far if you're like following along with this. <laughs> I'm going to try not to shake the camera as much as I have been because my mom said it, you're going to make your watchers dizzy. <laughs> I move a lot. It looks like a TV from the camera. Like, if you look at it really quickly, it looks like a TV. The Axis Carport, we are building a stall divider. And I think, Daddy, you're going to be getting as tall as the horse or an inch taller or something like that. Mm, trying to figure out how to cut this without cutting into the table at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so while he's doing that, I need to tell you something so funny. So, I was saying, are you okay with me recording this? And he's like, yeah, that's fine, as long as you get my good side. And I'm like, okay, uh, what's your good side? He's like, both. She's like, do you know me? <laughs> so silly. So yeah, there we go. Make a stable. So I actually, I'm just, I'm just thinking like, okay, so this goes here, blah blah blah, because okay. I, okay. Rectangle. We're gonna square. I think a small, like a small little thing, maybe like closer to the front, maybe in the middle. And so yeah, we're just making some plans. We're gonna make a little window in the divider here. And again, if you're ever building a a horse stall for your briar traditionals i do suggest getting a large box because then because your horse has to be able to be two horses in in the stall and has to be able to do a wide turn in real life so if you are going classics i say medium if you're going stable mates i think small is pretty good for that so yeah and then we got this box from walmart if you didn't see part one yeah getting the supplies so Oops. Daddy, get your face out of the. I'm just kidding. Okay, there it is so far. Looks nice. Okay, guys, so here's my finished product. I'll give you a little tour. It's a little dark in there. I don't want to get some lights sometime, but here's my little thing to keep them from coming out. You just. Take the string out from here. 
And then I made this little fence post out of popsicle sticks. And I told, um, in the last video, I got these popsicle sticks. I got a wide one and then a bunch of short ones. And then with the short, a smaller one, I made a little hook for the halter. I don't have one for Dallas, but I have one for my Nebraska back there. And then I made a little trough here for the hay. And I did use a hot glue gun for this. And then in the bottom of their stalls, they have a little water bucket. There's some hay in that one. But there's a little water bucket. I'm not really going to fill it up with water because, yeah. But, and then they have the shavings that we got yesterday at PetSmart for them. They're just some, like, hamster or whatever shavings. And they work perfectly fine. Yeah, and I think, I think this is pretty cool. I'm going to have lots of fun playing with it. And I hope you guys enjoyed these two-part videos because, yeah, um... There, I, we had a bunch of fun, and it took us two days. I mean, you could do it in one day. It just took us two days because we went to the store one day, and the other day we got so we got the we built the barn. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Bye.